Hey, I'm Kier, and this is that vlog thing that I'm doing. Just finished watching the first episode of the new Netflix series Jessica Jones, uh, which is based on a comic book uh, from Marvel that I never read. Uh, it came out long after I had moved out of the comic book cycle of stuff, but I've heard very good things about the comic book, and after watching the first episode of the new series, uh, yeah, I'm sold. The, the show is really solid. Uh, it's, in the same, it's in the same universe as all of the other Marvel stuff. So the stuff from Avengers, uh, the Siege of New York happened. Uh, Thor's out there somewhere. The Incredible Hulk is out there somewhere. S.H.I.E.L.D. Uh, and Iron Man and Captain America. But this show is another one set uh, at the street level. Um, it's set in New York City, and it's set in the not-so-great parts of New York City. Uh, the lead character, Jessica Jones, played by Kristen Ritter, uh, is a private detective. But she's a private detective with a bit of an edge over other people. She's got superpowers. So in the context of the new Marvel Cinematic Universe, uh, she either has the inhuman gene that's been triggered somehow, or something else has come along and given her uh, super strength. Now, she's got a dark past. I know this from reading about the comics. We haven't hit exactly on what happened in the, uh, in the show yet, being it's only the first episode. But she's suffering from post-traumatic stress from an event a year ago. And if you've watched any of the promo stuff, you know that the main villain in this is going to be a character called the Purple Man, uh, played by David, David Tennant, uh, who hasn't really shown up yet, uh, but he can control people's minds, which makes him probably one of the most powerful non-Asgardian characters we've ever seen in the Marvel uh, Cinematic Universe. So I'm really looking forward to see how they deal with that and how they present that. And if there's gonna be mention of him uh, on other shows, especially Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D., where uh, they made it a point to say, psychics, no, there are no psychics. No one can do stuff like that. Uh, so that's gonna be interesting to see how it plays out. But this show, has atmosphere, the show is dark, the show is definitely in the same vein as Daredevil is, and Daredevil first season was fantastic. Um, it's got a very private eye feel to it. The opening credit sequence is very uh, evocative of a lot of classic detective stuff, so I'm looking forward to that vibe continuing. Uh, Kristen Ritter is doing an absolutely fantastic job. Uh, I've always liked her. She can do comedy like no one else, but when she does drama, which doesn't come up a tremendous amount, but when she does drama, she does it really well, and she's got this presence on her that when she does d different characters... No matter how awful the character is, there's still something likable about them, and she brings that through. So here you have this character that's really messed up um, in some pretty serious ways, and, and they convey that very well, uh, both directly and subtly, uh, through the first episode. But you can tell that she's really a good person at heart. And this is something that uh, Ritter did very well in Don't Trust the Bee in Apartment 23, uh, which was a uh, sitcom comedy show uh, from a few seasons ago that I wasn't expecting to like at all because the premise is absolutely... Um, it's just rude people, pretty much. And uh, she managed to give it that spark of heart that uh, made it worth watching. Now it got cancelled. Of course, 
but I really enjoyed it a lot more than I expected to. Uh, and most of that was due to her being able to play this character that I would have hated with just about anyone else playing them and making you feel like they're redeemable in some way, shape, or form. And that's exactly the same feeling that we have so far in the first episode of Jessica Jones. And uh, I am impressed. I wasn't worried about this show, but it's a character I know next to nothing about. I was a bit of a Daredevil fan back in the day. I bought Avengers comics for years, Captain America for years. So all of the stuff that's been out in the Marvel Cinematic Universe so far, uh, except maybe for Guardians of the Galaxy, because the team of Guardians of the Galaxy that was in the movie uh, wasn't the Guardians of the Galaxy that I used to read. So Guardians of the Galaxy and Jessica Jones are the two properties so far where I've known the absolute least and have the absolute least connection to the characters uh, in these properties. And, well, we all know Guardians of the Galaxy was absolutely fun and fantastic and off-the-wall uh, great sci-fi adventure. Jessica Jones, so far, is lined up to be another solid street-level character like Daredevil with a really dark edge to it and some really disturbing stuff that goes on. Uh, and we got plenty of that in this first episode. I'm not going to spoil anything, but if you have Netflix, go and check it out. The whole season is there right now. Um, I'm probably going to get through most of it this weekend. Because um, it's that good. So I'll watch it at least as quickly as I watched Daredevil, which took me, I think, two days to get through. <laughs> um, so Jessica Jones, check it out. Looks fantastic. I'll probably give a uh, rundown a little while after I finish watching the whole thing, give other people a chance to watch it. Uh, and then we can talk connections and spoilers and stuff like that. Uh, but in the comments below, let me know if you've seen it. Um, what you thought of the first episode. Don't spoil anything for anyone else. Let's just talk about the first episode. Because everyone should go out and watch that right now. Um, if you like the things I have to say and like what I'm talking about when I'm talking about these uh, movies, television shows, comic books, and whatnot, give me a thumbs up down uh, below there. If you're subscribed, thank you very much for being subscribed. And if you're not subscribed, hit the subscription button so you can get notified of when these come out. And if you know anyone else who would be interested in getting involved in this conversation or in hearing any of the things I have to say, uh, share this with them so we can get them involved in the conversation as well. That's it for tonight. I'm going to go and watch some more Netflix. I'm Kier, and I guess I'll see you tomorrow.